2015 has been a very successful year for you and it must be nice to end it here in Hong Kong riding in the Jockey Championship. Yeah, it certainly is Edward. It's a great privilege to be representing Australia here in Hong Kong uh, for the second time. The last time was I think in 2009 so look it's great to be back here and it's always a wonderful event. The, the world's best come here to compete and yeah it's a privilege to be here. Looking at your rides tomorrow night, what are your confidence levels like going into the meeting? Oh look, I've got some nice rides. I've got obviously the four international races, uh, the Jockey Challenge. I've got a couple of others, but there, there looks to be two there in the challenge that could, could certainly figure in the placings. And if one of them could manage to win, well, you know, it certainly puts you in contention. And given the caliber of riders that you're competing against, what would it mean to you to, to win the series? Well, obviously, it would mean a great deal, but, you know, obviously uh, you need, like everyone else, you need a bit of luck, you need conditions to suit and horses to run to their premium, but, you know, I've got a couple there that could figure, I thought, you know, two out of the four are, you know, genuine place chances, so if one of them could win, well, I'm a chance. You've had a number of stints here in Hong Kong throughout your career. What's it like riding here? Uh, it's very competitive. Um, you know, it's probably the most competitive place in the world as far as riding goes, you know, Positioning is very important, and I think that's because the handicapping system is uh, so so competitive. The horses are so closely rated and um, so well rated that you know it really makes for competitive riding and competitive racing. So you need to be on top of your game.